Today we've come out a little bit wider and we're going to have a fish on some wonky holes. Wonky holes are actually underground springs that exit through the sea floor. They come up from the existing riverbeds that were here many years ago during the last ice age. This used to be all dry land here and the existing rivers that we have on the mainland today used to be the headwaters and these rivers used to wind out to the shelf. What's happened is these riverbeds are now covered over in silt and sediment and the pressure from the Paleo Channel still pushes through all the looser rubble and makes its way to the surface. It creates itself this nice little venting area, there's a big hole and quite often that it has limestone scale or depending on what sort of substrate it comes up in. Um, soft corals grow around them and they attract a large variety of bait fish and squid and also the bigger predators. The ones we find with more rubble have more coral and they're the ones we get species like red emperor uh, and coral trout more often off. The ones that are just like deep impressions in the middle of nowhere, we get things like gold spot cod, largemouth nanigai, cobia and sometimes they'll even hold Spanish mackerel when there's a lot of bait fish on them. Wonky holes are generally found on the northern half of Australia, basically from Fraser Island north is where the plateau starts. Uh, areas where the, the continental shelf comes in close to the coastline, you're very unlikely going to find them there. So this is more of a northern Australia thing from around about that Fraser Island north, right around to the same latitude on the other side. It all comes down with time on the water if you want to find wonky holes. When it comes to fishing on wonky holes, there's a variety of methods you can use. Anything from deep jigging and plastics uh, to live bait and even dead bait. If you're chasing live bait around wonky holes, there's lots of things like herring, chub mackerel, those, that kind of stuff. All sorts of small pelagics, even pinkies, like a type of goatfish. They all make great liveys and we just use the uh, little bait jigs, the little feathers on them. Some beautiful little chub mackerel, awesome little live baits. Similar to the yellowtail species. The outfit we're using today for live baiting is the Rovex Specialist Sport Seeker 6 foot 6 spin rod coupled up with a tactical 6000 Jarvis Walker spin reel. And then what we do is we have a dropper rig with 80 pound Rovex leader coupled up to a Jarvis Walker circle hook and our livey just pinned through above the back of the tail. So we're going to drop that down now. We've got just enough weight to get us to the bottom. It's not a lot of run here at the moment, so we've only got a smaller weight on there. But if there's a little bit extra movement in the water, you might have to go up a couple of sizes. So we'll drop him down and see if we can catch a big redfish. Here he goes. Okay, we caught a nice little chub mackerel for a livey, we dropped him down and pretty much straight away we're on. Most likely a gold spot cod, could be a nanny guy though, got a few head shakes there. I'm using monofilament now instead of braided line. In shallow inshore waters, you're better off using monofilament. Sometimes braid can be too direct in shallow waters. We start using braid for bottom fishing, whether it's bait or live bait. We start doing that mostly out in that 40 metres and beyond, even 30 metres I guess, because you've got a little bit extra belly in your line out there that gives you that little bit of give. This thing here is not giving me too much give. Not too far off the bottom, he's still down there. Luckily, you don't get too many snags on the wonky holes. <laughs> Swam in the hole. <laughs> this is I was saying, you can't get snagged. You'll come out. Got him out. Uh, the fish just got us held up in the hole there for a little bit. But not much though. Give them a little bit of slack line, they'll usually come out. Got him out now. The outfit I'm using here is the Rovex Specialist Sport Seeker, coupled up with a Jarvis Walker Tactical 6000 spin reel and nice 30 pound monofilament line. 
Don't want to go too light out here. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, it's a largey. Beautiful. Oh, nice scarlet. That's what we're after. How good is that? Big fish in small boats. Aha, uh -huh, that's one of the most prized species on these holes. The largemouth nenegoy or scarlet sea perch. Awesome fish. They love jigging and they love bait. So there's a few tips on how to fish wonky holes. The best way to find these things is to get out there and have a good look around and give it a go. You can catch some really lovely fish.